first time I saw the UK edition of the Gorkha's Daughter, I was unsatisfied. It had exactly the kind of cover I did not want. It may not have had mangoes or an elephant jumping out of a hat or a tipple of vermilion with peacock feathers, but it came close. A woman foregrounds Manhattan. Of course, the woman wears a sari. Of course, the cover is a riot of primary colors. Of course, everyone in South Asia would have a problem. I send a hastily constructed email to my editor with words such as yikes and exoticization. The editor asks for suggestions. Anything but this, I said. This was long before a friend called my attention to the blatant male gaze on display. The woman on the cover is faceless. Look closer and it appears as though she is touching herself. My editor had a point. It was what would stand out in bookstores in Britain and Ireland. Besides this marriage of East and West, the conflicting push and pull of those cliches of tradition and modernity was well encapsulated. I kept quiet. The publishers know what they're doing. They've been at it for years, I thought. A few days later, the South Asian cover landed in my inbox. Gavin Morris, who was then with Penguin India, juxtaposed the image of an innocent Gorkha girl in black and white with the title of the book and my name in yellow. It was love at first sight. Everyone, without exception, rhapsodized about the cover. There was beauty and simplicity. And yet, when my American publishers were given the option to either design a brand new cover or use the Indian one, they decided to do neither. They altered the British one slightly. Ditto with the Australian publisher. The blurbs may have changed, the font may have changed, but the woman in pink and yellow and Manhattan in the background remained. It's perfect, they said. The Indian cover was a work of art, yes, but it wouldn't quite pique Western readers' interest, they added. Perhaps they were right. Almost every edition followed suit, but not my proud Nepali-language publishers. Nepalaya, my publishers in Nepal, chose a wonderful image of two little girls running up the stairs of Swambunath for Gorkakitori. They are the little girls from the eponymous story. My publisher has told me I'll get to meet them someday. My Indian publishers have discontinued the cover I love. South Asian bookstores, too, display the sari-clad woman now. In a way, I'm okay with it. It gives the former Indian cover an elevated status, as though it is a bit of a collector's item. At literature festivals, someone might show with an old copy of the Gavin Design Edition. When I sign one of these copies, my handwriting is better, the curlicue more pronounced.